Oh, that's good. That's good enough. I mean, we don't need defense, I feel. Alright, good. Alright, 22 to 18. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today we will go on the ladder with Zer, the Eternal Schemer. And I wanted to try this deck because I don't see it anywhere, like legitly nobody plays this deck. But I remember it was a very strong archetype and like we had a lot of success with it. So I wanted to check it. Uh, this version is, you know, a dated uh, previous version. We don't really have a lot of new cards in the, in the current set. Like when you filter by enchantment, it's really not a lot. So in, we just uh, added some static nets. Uh, they help a little bit with the Bangbuster activation and Zur activation. So that's basically it. I'm playing the split because I like some flash action. You know, I'm a control player. And you will see different versions during the video. So we tried first with Memory Deluge and Silver Scrutiny. But I have noticed that, man, drawing cards in standard? No way. Just play your sweet play your removal and just win the game from there. Especially against things like Talia, like Memory Deluge, it's, it's, it's so slow, it just doesn't help you with this kind of deck because you don't play for wells at all. So instead we played some Depopulates and Bankbusters, and I have to say that Bankbuster was way way better, even though it's not an enchantment. Uh, Make Disappears were very very good, and a lot of removal always helps. So we are playing for Lockdowns, just because Aether you can remove a lot of you know small creatures from the board or you can just reanimate it and have a 3-3 three, three hex proof death touch lifelink whatever uh, insane cool creature and that really helps especially with wedding announcement and they become a 4-4 four, four. so you know the deck you will see it in action if you never met this one and about the success like we ranked up it seems that Zur is still working like we are around 60 something percent win rate in mythic so i'm pretty happy with the results and i think it's a decent deck it's definitely not tier one but it does the job uh, i absolutely enjoy playing Zur, and the effects are still here so if you enjoy this type of deck just go on the ladder and have some fun. So as usual, don't forget guys to subscribe. It really does help to the channel. And it makes me personally so happy. Like truly, it does. So yeah, I don't have anything to add. Let's go into the games and smoke some mono red. All right, we're going first with a lot of removal and we'll try to make it work. Let's go with the launch first. I mean, our strategy might be just to try to bait as many creatures as possible and just go with the Populate. I think that could be a good start to get some card advantage because you know it will be some kind of aggro. Nobody plays, you know, anything that is not an aggro, right? We don't have double white and that might be a huge issue during this game. Esper Legends, I would guess. Yep, Esper Legends. I guessed correctly. No attacks. Sure. First white mana. I mean, they don't really have removal overall. So you know what? Let's go wedding announcement. The faster we flip, the better. And I would play differently if I had double white, but we are three color decks, so we won't get it, unfortunately. Uh, and with Zur, we can start using wedding announcement at some point for some lifelink action. This might really help us. Even having this as an anthem effect. Look at this curve. Like, look at this curve, guys. It's literally... It cannot be better. This is the optimal choice. Like, you cannot go better than this opening. This is the pinnacle of this deck. Alright, so let's take the hit. And we cannot even fix our colors. Alright. Final. That's that's a huge help. Let's just go with it. I I cannot stand so such a good opening. We need to try to you know get rid of it somehow. And now we have some advantage over the board. But it's still not over. That's for sure. Ertai resurrected, right? Hmm. That's that. That's a hard one. So if I play Zur, he will counter. 
and get the dude into the board. Let's wait. Let's wait. I don't want to attack because then uh, he can get free trade with Ertai. Alright, maybe he doesn't have the Ertai, but you can never know. Uh, Takenuma, and they will take Rafin, of course, because it's their best card, basically. But then we play Zur, and we try to be aggressive. And Rafin is just 1-4, so if we can go into being aggressive, we should be okay-ish. Wedding announcement, sure. So we'll, that's actually pretty good for us. Alright, I really want to start smoking him, guys. Oh, um, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. It's it's a gun job, but we will have hex proof, so it's fine. Eight damage. All right, this is actually really good. He, we got the lifelink, we got the wedding announcement activation, and he kind of dropped his board. So that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, the Rafin will be a bit of a problem, but it's fine. And if he plays Rafin, he has no mana for a Ganjo. I really think he has some of those, you know, legendary lands. Sure. So he gets the token. So we attack, right? I don't think I need the lifelink right now. Man, <laughs> this is so weird. Alright, 6 damage to the face. That's a lot. Let's go with the Bang Buster because then we can uh, attack on the next turn a bit better. And I really want this make disappear. It might be pretty huge. He can, ha he can get this, but it's more for aggression, right? Oh boy. Here we go with another scruff. But if he attacks, if he attacks, he might actually die, right? Yeah. That's interesting. He didn't go for it. So let's draw the card. That's why the Bangbuster is also pretty good. March. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's a that's a good one. We might kill Rafin with this. One, two, three, four. I think this is the play, guys. I don't really want to get rid of this stuff. And the fact that we are so mana efficient, I think it can be very, very good here. We still have a counter spell. They don't have scrolls yet. All right. Is Rafin out? And this is why I told you he has it. And that's why mana efficiency is pretty good. Alright. So we will go like this because it will be a 9 damage to the face, so he has to block at least something. That's not a good block. Uh, he should double block the wedding announcement. Exactly. But that's still 5 damage to the face and his board is kinda empty, right? He can place like 2 creatures, even from the graveyard. But we have Zur still. And he cannot really be aggressive because then he dies, right? Okay, this cannot block. But Adeline can. Hmm. Alright, like we will have some work to do. And he's going for aggression. That's close to winning the game. Alright, so let's draw the card, see what, what the card is. I think we go with the Leyline Binding and... Oh, and attack and win the game. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. Uh, first, let's go get rid of the other line. Now we crew. Smarky. I bet you wish it could block. 
the only change he did to the deck and the only change that lost him the game. Alright, opponent goes first. We have quite a bit of removal. The ley line won't be very useful. I guess Faithful Absence into Static Net needs to do for now. So we will see how it goes. Definitely a bit rough one. Uh, the stroke is definitely not for now. But hopefully we can hit Mirrell. Oh, it's mono white control, so it's actually... Yeah, it will hit something for sure. Let's just keep playing random stuff. Wedding announcement needs to do a lot of work. Sorry. Alright, let's take the hit. 19. 19 turns to go. And that's a bang buster. Unfortunate, really good for him. And we need to deal with it. I guess it will be one of the wedding announcement games where we just play wedding announcement into wedding announcement and we win the game. <laughs> Hopefully, that's that's the plan at least. All right, this is really good counter to the wedding announcement, and he's trying to be kind of aggressive so far. Make disappear. That's an interesting one. Hmm. So what is the five drop? Man, it can be ale. Ale is pretty devastating, man. But we are not guaranteed to draw a land on the next turn. So if Ayo comes, we just... Oh, we, we just exile it. I forgot we have exile effect, so we don't need to super care about this. So we are set up right now. We just want to flip the wedding announcement, get all the tokens and start from there. Four cards to go, but he still has the bang buster. Unfortunately for him, he needs to slow the game if he wants to get it. Wedding announcement, sure. Alright, like we're trying to make it work. Some Trium would definitely help. Uh, just to get the discount on the Leyline Binding. We have only one basic. So that's not exactly perfect. Do I want to draw two cards? To be honest, I don't. I think we say go. We do not attack, we get the first flip. And on the next turn we can actually start attacking for a lot of damage. I mean 15. Okay, maybe not on the next turn, but in two turns we can attack for 15 and that's that's no joke. There is a risk of farewell, but we have counter spells, right? And now it will get harder for him. Alright, careful play. The bait for a counter spell. He knows that we have the priority, so he uh, like it. It's it's an interesting situation right now. All right, I think we go with Faithful Absence. It really helps him, right? This will be exactly two cards for him. Can we go like differently? Not really. Not really. You know what? Hopefully we can hit the Triumph finally, and we did. That's really good. So we went, wait one more turn, so we can flip the Wedding Announcement and then we start to be aggressive. Alright, our opponent is thinking for a long, 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 long time. And he will probably do nothing <laughs> in the end. Alright, so... I, I just need to keep up the counter spells. It's really important that we don't get anything, you know, extremely powerful into the board. Like he has things like Warden. Man, my voice. I guess it's still like holding me up. All right, so we are not attacking on this turn, or are we? He can crew the bang buster. It's not the best right overall. It will be way better on the next turn, I think. And I will probably get rid of his wedding announcement before attacking, right? I could get rid of the bang buster. But it's just one card. So I mean we have to go with it and just try to push for tempo with counter spells. Hopefully he will make a huge play. And we can counter it and, and be a, in a good spot, basically. 
I mean, that's not a big play. <laughs> that's absolutely not a big play. And he's playing really carefree so far. Alright, starting to kill our creatures one by one. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. You cannot really attack, right? And we have 15-15 in the board. Oh, it went here. I will have to kill it anyway, so that was actually pretty unfortunate. Now oh, it's 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 not great. Let's start getting rid of some stuff. I think I will play uh, the removal on the wedding announcement when he uh, declares the blocks, because then we can mess him up. Oh, oh, that's something. But it's probably not what we want, right? Let's let's start being a little bit aggressive. 15-15 in the face. And the point is that he needs to block. Sure. A, a little counter spell. I'm keeping this one because it's pretty good. And I will probably use the ley line binding on the wedding announcement, right? After he declares the blocks. Alright. Let's see the blocks. I want to see how, how he will do it. If he double blocks a lot of creatures, we can get really good trade. Only this. That's interesting. I think we should be winning, so we will play like this. And I wanted to lay line the wedding announcement, but in this situation it's not the best deal we can make. Alright. That's some damage, man. We are actually kinda ahead on board. So we will see how he plays. I still have a counter spell. I really want this one. For this exact reason. That's what we waited for. Some uh, guard down play. He hoped that we don't have anything and... That was not correct. Oh boy, this is for sure pretty good. We can attack with wedding announcement, then, but then he just blocks it, right? So let's keep the pressure. Let's keep the pressure. And now we can uh, get rid of the wedding announcement with Leyline. He's playing really carefully, I have to say. And let's play like this then. He will draw two cards in total, but this, like if he plays farewell, we can be in some trouble because he gets wedding announcement and we don't, but that's the risk I'm taking just to get board advantage. He's down to two. And don't forget, after any kind of sweeper, we can just play Zur and reanimate one of the enchantments and hit him for the lethal. And I think that might be how he, how we win. Sure, Alash Norn. Not too much effect. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go with the static net. Oh. <laughs> that was absolutely calculated. Yeah, I forgot it also has the anti-ATB passive. I always consider it just doubling stuff. We, we still won, but yeah, a bit, a bit shame scoop material, that's for sure. One mana. Oh my god, are you serious right now? Alright, the game is on then. I guess he could just block, but then he's kinda left with one creature to our two. But yeah, like he had some potential, he didn't go for it really. Alright, we are going first with some counter spells, so we will play this as a typical control, I guess. Uh, we have Static Net, we have some Memory Deluge, and our opponent is in his hit face round. <laughs> Must hit face. Uh, let's see double one drop. Oh, finally. This is the first time ever when they had Kumano. I had some interaction and they actually played a two drop. I love it. Finally. All this time. So we just say go. Uh, Kumano will be annoying, but that's basically what Kumano does, right? 
just be be annoying. I cannot believe how can you be in this percentage with with this deck. <laughs> to be honest, maybe they just don't play, but it's still funny. All right, I find it funny. If you are taking the top meta decks for the format, you should at least be numbered, right? But here we are. So, what is the play? I can go for the Swift Spear. Or just try to go for Wedding Announcement. There is a chance we draw land and we can play both on the next turn. Uh, I think it's still Wedding Announcement. It's pretty good against the Swift Spear when he's out of the burn spells, like, if that was possible. But then you can just trade against this with one of the tokens, right? Alright, that's fine. We need to get this at some point. Smork, smork, smork. Me play magic. Alright. Uh, so, what do we do? The land is here. Dog is pretty weak, so we need to go for the static net. So we get some life. Is this Kumano or the Swift Spear? That's my question. I honestly think it's Kumano. And you know, maybe the Power Stone. Like, we need to hit Zur and we should be kinda okay. Like, we have good reanimation targets, we just need to go for it. Yep. Second removal, 2 mana total, 3 damage to the face. Smork, me, need damage! <laughs> this is my impression of an average monorail player. So, uh, let's go with Companion, right? We switch the Wedding Announcement, so it's actually a lot of stats. This is awkward. Alright, let's see what, what he will do. Down to 2 cards, we are at 6 life. We are trying to find Zur to reanimate. Must hit fast. <laughs> oh boy. Monored is a state of mind. Alright. Let's not block. Okay, it's going to the damage directly, so I don't think he has anything. So let's get rid of the Swift Spear. And they all man, we are at six. They don't even want to play this game. I have a fear that Monored player just hate playing magic and they do this to avoid playing magic. <laughs> it fits, right? Alright, opponent goes first. I'm not sure guys about this hand. We don't have any value. But you know what? I we have make disappear. I think it it might be enough to just try something. Oh boy, being on the draw. My bane. So, the true plan for the whole game is trying to wait until they populate, because if you play this, you win the game, generally. You know, that's how it is in current standard, just play your removal. And, I mean, we go with Make Disappear, then. Those creatures are not super scary. What comes next will be scary. And it was scary. Alright, uh, this also would pump the adaptive, help protect the board, you know, all the bad stuff, so we just need to... And it also helps them against the populate, so we really don't want to see it. Zor? Zor isn't bad in this situation, right? But I still think it's a wedding announcement. I would play differently if I had double white, but well, I guess we are not blessed enough to to get a second white mana at the moment. So we need to survive for a long, long time, unfortunately. Let's see, in insane amount of counters. So we are not winning the board, that's for sure. So for this reason, let's just keep blocking and trying to save our life. All we need to do is survive until we hit this card. Oh boy. I need white mana, man. <laughs> I need it so much. How do we play this one out? I can play the dog in order to gamble to hit the second white. Or I cannot kill Halana, right? Huh. We could also go with Zor and try to block. But it won't really help too much. 
I mean, I think this is the play. I shouldn't play the land, that was a mistake. Because if I play white land, I can fade full absence, so I get better plays overall. But of course we won't hit it anyway. We'll probably die, I think, without ever hitting second white. And that will be rough. Especially that we need to hit this while he keeps playing stuff. Because on the turn when he has empty hand, he just uh, has plaza of heroes and can protect the best creature of the board. How is it 7-5? I, I, I need some answers. I'm so glad he doesn't know how to scrub. I know he's trying to protect, but man, 7 damage to the face? In 2 turns he wins the game. I really need the white mana. Deck, please. Please. Of course we'll never hit it. Oh boy. Oh, this is so bad. So we will play the Bangbuster and try to charm block the adversary and when he tries to give unblockability to this then we strike with uh, the Fateful Absence. I think that's the only plan. But it's really not good. Man, it's so annoying when you have the winning card in your hand but you just aren't allowed to play it. Uh, it doesn't feel great, I'll tell you that. Finally. <laughs> And the first time he attacked with Scrub is the first turn when he shouldn't. This is not legendary, bro. Yep, thanks. Appreciate it. And now we can kill Scrub, right? That's pretty good. And we still have the token. <laughs> yeah, you need to draw in response. That's, that's the answer. Oh boy. When you play aggro you can just do random stuff and it still works most of the time, right? Like, your opponent still needs to draw the second white. And here we are. But then he protects the Halana and Alina, which is unfortunate. So how can we go around this? Can we go around this? Told you. Like, we draw it uh, too late. Now he doesn't have anything to play and he can save the mana. And that's a huge deal. I think we need to go through with the Leyline Binding, right? Yeah, I think that's the play. I don't love it at all. I think we, sh we will be losing this one, just based on the bad draws. Sure, this is not a legendary creature. Interesting. Alright, so we could kill Halana and Alina with Leyline Binding. Then he sacrifices the plaza, right? That's not bad for us. We can also get rid of this and take the hit from Halana and Alina. Which honestly is probably better. Let's try it. Let's try it. If he plays a lot of creatures to go white, which might... Man, the, the, this whole line of play is because he made some mistakes with this curve. Like, he had four creatures in the board, somehow we are down to 2-1. So hopefully he will play a lot of creatures, he won't, alright. I mean, with Zur I think we can win this, man. Right? We play Zur. What is your diabolical creature? Like, he's casting something right now. Let's activate the Ley Line. Even if he gets back the Adaptive, it's pretty weak. I hope that Zur will survive, but I have a lingering feeling that he won't. Like, he really, like, touches stuff. But if we can hit with 7-7 seven, seven Lifelink... Oh my god, will we hit it? Yes, it feels so much better. Alright! I mean, we are winning on board somehow, without the populate, I cannot believe this, how, how did you mess it up so much? Alright, so he will pump a lot, right? Okay, so now he doesn't protect, so this is 4-5, that's not too much, but this will be definitely annoying, right? 
I think we just charm block it. I think that's what we have to do. So we will have some life linking wars right now. Oh, that's really good. That's a really good draw. But how can we go around it? I think we just play it, get rid of the adversary and try to attack with Leyline Binding. And this way we get ahead in the lifelink, right? I would love to kill Halana and Alina, but we don't have this luxury, unfortunately. I could attack with Wedding Announcement, but it will be a 4 4, right? Oh, that's good! That's good enough. And now we go to combat, to attackers. We definitely can attack with those two. Do we attack with Zur as well? I mean, we don't need defense, I feel. And he won't be, uh, he definitely won't be blocking this one, right? So we have 11 attack with lifelink. That's, uh, that's a good start, that's for sure. And he needs to kill Zur first, which is a 2-5. All right, good. All right, 22 to 18. I mean, we are, we are slowly doing it. Two cards to go only. And he doesn't even have another creature. Man, he threw this so hard. So, we play Wedding Announcement. Now, we use the Static Nut. And we still can draw with the Bang Buster if we want. And he has a lot of open mana, so we will attack only with those. I mean, the game should be ours, I think. Man, this... Why would you not block a 7-7? Maybe he has some damage, but it has Hexproof. Alright, Tyvar stunt? You can also block. Cool, that took a while, didn't it? Alright, so he wants to kill only this. Oh boy, I have zero idea what they are doing. Alright, adversary buffing the Halana. Okay, sure. Down to seven. And we'll draw the card. We can also get the wedding announcement if we want. Like, I, I don't think it really helps him in any way, man. Sure. Smirk, my face. Like, if you, you have to attack, right? Unless he wants to go for just the trade against the ley line. Or wedding festivity. Yeah, the trade against wedding festivity would be better, I think. Alright, cool. Let's draw the card. I don't need to reanimate stuff, to be honest. Alright. So, uh, we play this. And we should win the game, I believe. Man, a lot of thinking, but the effect will be the same. It's not legendary. Good game, my friend. <laughs> oh boy, I really think they messed it up super hard. Like, they had four creatures. We didn't cast a single depopulated. We won on the board. That's ridiculous.